Welcome back to Towns. We're in version. Where is it? Oh, not in here. Well, we're in version 11. So we've had an update and we got all this new stuff. I've been playing it on my single player for a bit, or on my single player, I mean on my other game. So let's see. Look at it! It looks all different! It looks amazing, actually. They um, made new pictures for the chests and the, the barrels, as you can see. It looks really cool. And candles actually give off light now. So what you see here isn't sunlight, it kind of looks like it, but it comes from the candles. So these dark spots all need a way to light them up a bit. How cool is that? And I, uh, I, I did have some footage left from last time. I didn't put it up on YouTube yet. And last time I basically just added all these rooms and all these beds. And waited a very long time for people to get into them. So we got like 32 people now, which is great. I mean, that is such a nice base. I need to uh, make some weapons and stuff for some of them. But one of the great things I was complaining about in the footage that I'm never going to show you is we lost Sips. And we didn't lose him to death. We lost him because there wasn't enough food in the town. So he took off. But we did get Sir Punchwood back as our hero. So Sir Punchwood is uh, a name uh, Paul Soros Jr. uses a lot for his Let's Plays. And he did play Towns for quite some time and really enjoyed it. And the creators of Towns decided to give him a character named after him. Kinda like the Sips. So my soldiers are all decked out. Whoa, look how green the goblinite is. Wow. This all looks different. I think they changed all the armors a bit. Yeah, it looks like they did. I don't remember iron being this shiny. But anyway, I need to equip some people. One, two, three, four. Four people, so I need four weapons, four armors, and I got spider, right? Do I have iron? No. Only five. So we'll place them in wood. Do I have bone? Ah. We'll place them in bone armor. <gasps> oh, look at it. Wow! You can actually make a difference in bone armor and iron armor and the other stuff. Oh my gosh. That is so cool! Yeah, I love it. I love my colors. Those take iron. Oh, they all take. This one doesn't take iron. Well, I got five iron, so I can afford two of these. And I'll just throw in two of these. Ew. And this bug is still in. That's a pity. Because I only have two uh, bone carving benches. And they all want to make the armor. They will all go grab bones like idiots. Uh, they cannot reach this, so they'll just drop them. And I don't mind that, as long as they pick them up also, and that they hardly do. 
So that's a bit of shame. But eventually the haulers will get it. Oh, we got a merchant. Have a bone. But now that I got more bones, I can actually add some more traps. And that's the wrong one. And we're doing good on bones, I see. As you can see with all the bones lying upstairs, they're coming down, going to the farthest holes to collect bones. So yeah, next time I'll probably... <laughs> Give the order for wood again. Oh, I already had stuff. How silly. I didn't even check. Another really large thing is we have jobs now. Look, job groups, like the soldiers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make some groups. I'm going to say disable all, but I want you baking and cooking, gathering, harvesting. Not that. Not howling. I want you butchering and feeding. Oh, stupid. There we go. And this will be my food people. What more do I want? Let's see. I want to trade. I think I'm going to create a group for almost everything. Except for the mining and the tilling and chopping. This will be my hauler group. Uh, oh, yeah, great. There's nobody in there. Let's see, I want a group for the trading. One dedicated to walls. If I want to get like walls real quick, I can throw some people in there. And basically, the same goes for items. And I think that's the most important stuff for now. So let's go to the citizens without a group and I'm just going to select some people to be in certain groups. So I got 32 people, let's try out then 10 dedicated people for food. No, you got good armor, you got not so good armor. I also want two haulers. Oh, 
After he's done equipping, he can go hauling. And that's all I need for now. The rest of them can just, which is 16 people, they can just do whatever the priorities are at the moment. So what I will do is I will set cooking low. And the reason I do that is because I want to see how the food group will do. If having a food group is enough to keep them alive. So we'll just have to wait and see.